Extra virgin olive oil is one of those foods that I think every human should be consuming, but all extra virgin olive oils aren't made equal. There's a very, very dark side to the industry and you may very well be getting completely ripped off and eating very toxic oil instead of the extra virgin olive oil that you think you're eating. So first let's start with the good. There's all sorts of research that's showing that extra virgin olive oil can help anything from brain decline to all sorts of health conditions because it's so high in good quality omega-3 fats, which is the anti-inflammatory oils that we need so much of, especially because our diet is so lacking and we're so high in omega-6s with all the junk and processed food we eat. It's a really good fat to fill you up. You don't want to heat it. You always want it cold, but you can pour it on. If you eat mainly meat like I do, you can pour it on your eggs and steak and everything else. You can pour it on a salad if you're a plant-based eater. Pretty much have it on anything you want as long as you have it cold. But what's the dark side to it? Well, I recommend anyone who's going to buy extra virgin olive oil, go to a website called aboutoliveoil.org and check the brand that you're going to buy and see if it's on there in their list of approved. Because what this group has done is gone and tested a whole range of extra virgin olive oils. Like every one I could find, they'd tested. And what they're looking for is, is it actually good quality extra virgin olive oil or has it been siphoned off and had something else put in there? It sounds like something out of a mafia movie, but this is exactly what happens. They take the good quality extra virgin olive oil and you might get one bottle's worth and they can mix it in half or thirds into other bottles and pour the cheap garbage canola or vegetable oil in there and you don't know any different. You buy it, you think you're getting good quality extra virgin olive oil, but you're actually getting this fake olive oil that you're paying all this extra money for. But it's not even about the money, it's the health standpoint. You're trying to avoid all those nasty oils and yet here you might be consuming it yourself at home. Hey, Dr. Rodney here. If you wanna get my free PDF, five hacks for boosting your immune system, just go into the description of this video, click on the link, download it. And if you have any questions on it, just send me a message and I'll help you out with it. And this is real, this isn't conspiracy theory stuff. This has been on NBC News and 60 Minutes. It's been all through the mainstream media. There's some amazing books about it. In fact, the book I, I like the most that talks about this is called Extra Virginity by Tom Mueller. He's an olive oil expert, and he warns about all the contaminants and everything that, that is in these things. In fact, one of his exact quotes is, because all this starts in Italy, like it really is a mafia thing, which again, you couldn't make this up for a movie if you wanted to, but his quote is, Italian investigators have found hydrocarbon residues, pesticides, and other contaminants in fake oils and pomace oil a common adulterant sometimes contains mineral oil as well as PAHs proven carcinogens that can also damage DNA in the immune system then there's the 1981 case of toxic oil syndrome in Spain when rapid seed oil adulterated with an industrial additive sold as olive oil killed 800 people and seriously injured thousands more so this has been going on for decades I was born in 81 I'm 42 years old so it's been going on at least as long as that so I don't want it to scare you off and you not get the health benefits benefits of your extra virgin olive oil, you still want to use it every day. You just need to make sure it's from a source that it's definitely what they say is in there. It needs to be a clean oil. It should smell um, fresh. It should have that slight peppery taste because you don't want it to have gone rancid. But again, don't heat it. Just always remember that extra virgin olive oil is better cold. So the website, and I'll, I'll have it in the description here, is aboutoliveoil.org. I don't buy an olive oil unless they've shown that they've tested and it's clean because otherwise you just don't know. So if you've got further questions about this, please leave a comment below. And don't forget as well, if you've made it this far, hit that subscribe button because I don't want you to miss as I do more videos on topics like this that are really gonna help you take charge of you and your family's health and buck the system and become your healthiest best and live a really long, happy life.